Hi everyone, just a quick video on brake fluid and uh, testing your brake fluid. Uh, first of all, why do we test it? Well, uh, brake fluid is something called hygroscopic, which means it absorbs uh, moisture, absorbs water, water over a period of time. Um, water is a lot thinner, has a lower viscosity than brake fluid. So by getting water into your brake lines, you'll get a soft, spongy uh, pedal. So it's worth checking uh, every now and again. Not only that, there's different types of brake fluid. There's dot three, dot four, super dot four, dot five, and dot 5.1. The most common one, such as in this car, is DOT4. Uh, it has a lot higher boiling point than water, so DOT4 has a boiling point roughly of around 230 degrees C. So if you put a load of water content into your brake fluid, then the boiling point reduces massively, because obviously water boils at 100 degrees. So if you're on a long journey, you have the slim chance of boiling your uh, brake fluid, and therefore obviously it's not going to stop the car. So uh, first of all, locate your brake fluid reservoir, which is always, well, almost always, uh, behind the driver's uh, steering wheel, engine bay side, you've got the big brake servo here and then your brake fluid uh, reservoir here. The symbol on there, that is universal, so that symbol is to indicate brake fluid. And obviously on this lid particularly it says uh, use dot four. So inside, brake fluid wise, what you're looking for is uh, a clear treacle-like um, consistency. Uh, it should be more see-through than that, that's quite dark. Over time as the rubber seals inside the system, I begin to perish it goes darker and darker but we'll be looking for a lot clearer than that um, on another video i may show you the uh, new brake fluid going in so first of all the cheapest thing to use is this brake fluid tester which is like a traffic light pen these are about five pounds you've got the lights on the back here so if it's green it will tell me that the brake fluid is in good condition amber it should be changed because it has uh, water content in there and if it's red it's dangerously uh, high in water content and therefore needs to be changed immediately so just going to push the button on top of this pen. I've got a green light there and I'm going to place it into my uh, reservoir. So this particular one is giving me an amber reading which tells me there's water content in there. I'm not surprised looking at the colour of it, it's fairly dark uh, and therefore I should consider changing the brake fluid on this car which is exactly what I'm going to do. Um, bear in mind just one more thing, brake fluid is uh, corrosive, uh, particularly to paint. So do make sure you've got a rag uh, around and done to get it on the paintwork, otherwise it will take the lacquer uh, off your paint uh, on your car body. Um, hope that makes sense, we'll see you in the next one.